Yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today we review Gore Verbinski's next film, A Cure for Wellness. Welcome back guys, we are reviewing A Cure for Wellness. It's a great movie on paper, a great movie in the trailers. Uh, I'm not sure that it pays off as much as it sets itself up to be, but let's go ahead and discuss. So the movie starts out with Dane Dehan and he is this Wall Street executive and you know the board is kind of wondering what happened to their CEO and so they get him on this technicality and force him to go find the CEO. That's kind of the premise of the story, you end up in this weird place and there's all this mystery that goes on in the movie. Now there's some good stuff happening here, the cinematography is beautiful, the shots are great, the angles are awesome, the eeriness of the world that Gore Verbinski set up here is also done. Uh, kind of magically, right? And so you're watching the film, you're kind of not knowing what's going on, the mystery is starting to set in, and you feel like, okay, something awesome is gonna happen because I don't know what I just watched, and this is all crazy stuff that's happening, because there's crazy stuff. There's stuff that's so crazy, you're just like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening in this movie that I'm watching, but it does happen, right? So you watch it and you feel like, Yes, this could be a potentially great movie. And so you keep reaching out for great, great, and then, but the greats start getting smaller and smaller and smaller as you realize that it's probably not going to be that great when you're done watching it. And, and that's a shame too, because it's kind of fantastically weird as you watch it, you know? It's, it's just like a sci-fi dream, but almost horror, but mystery and shrouded in crazy, Shrouded in crazy. That's what I'm going to go with. Hashtag shrouded in crazy, right? So anyway, in a lot of movies like this, you'll have mystery and kind of horror type stuff, you know, where they have like these cheap thrills and these these cheap loud sounds and these bangs to kind of get the, the crowd jumping, right? There's none of that here. And it still, it still creates the right environment and it's still eerily cool to watch, right? Um, but, I want to get into some of the stuff that I didn't like, so we're going to switch this up. Go ahead and roll the flip. Okay, now, in terms of talking about things that are bad, right, it's it's kind of like baking this elaborate cake, but instead of using sugar, you use salt, right? And it doesn't matter how much time it took for you to create this cake and, and put the frosting on it and make it look really cool and delicious, right? if it doesn't pay off, right? So it's, I don't know if I would call this salty cake because if I did, I'd just be making it up right now, which is kind of what I just did. But yeah, it's kind of like salty cake, right? So you, you have this movie that builds all this awesome mystery and all this, what does this mean? And you're just kind of waiting for the payoff. But when the payoff comes, it's literally as if you can see the focus group in the movie. Like it completely switches at the end of the movie and turns into like, basic Hollywood, you know, bang and flash, right? It's so disappointing. Uh, I didn't care for that ending at all. And it really cheapened the rest of everything else because it was such a nice setup and then boom, Hollywood ending. It's just, you might as well have just filmed the focus group and just gave them all parts in the movie because it would have ruined it equally the same. It's just, it just, you can see that. So um, also, there are parts about the movie, there's a lot of questions that it raises, but it doesn't answer at the end. And if it does answer, it doesn't answer it satisfactorily, satisfa satis satisfactorily. <laughs> well, it doesn't answer it very well. <laughs> anyway, and you know, it sounds like it's a small thing, you know, because it's just one little piece of the movie, but seriously, it's it's the thing that, that that gives you the payoff and the payoff just is not there. So, sorry, that was very disappointing for me. Verdict time, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a three out of five. It's not a completely horrible movie. It has a lot of good stuff in it. It just did not pay off enough to be a great movie in the end. This is probably something you'll catch on Netflix or rent it or something like that. And it might be a whole lot better if you watched it at home or something. But this was really not the kind of thing that I would need to rush to the theater for. But it's an okay movie. Nothing great. Not completely horrible. Disappointing at the end. Once again, this is Dorky Diggity Dave. You just watched a review for Gore Verbinski's A Cure for Wellness. So I hope you liked the video. And if you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, 
share with your friends, share with your mama, all that stuff helps me out. And remember, stay dorky and I'll catch y'all on the flip.